Okay, new gambit. What to play? I'll play a Smith Mora. Ooh. I insist on Smith Mora. Broke two months ago, frown. Oh no, your streak. I insist on Smith Mora. I want I just want a Smith Mora. Okay, I'll play E5. Just take my pawn. Opponent's not behaving. Just take my pawn. At some point I'll take back. I have I've tried so hard, but what to do? Takes, takes. Mm. I'm actually not sure what to do here. Maybe I'll take and play bishop g3. Still waiting for them to take my pawn. Ah, they're not taking it. Okay, last chance. Take my pawn. At least I have the h-file now. My pawns have been like this for most of the game. There we go. Okay. It's finally a gambit. So I have uh, an h-file. Have some development. Opponent unexpectedly bond clouding. What is king e7? It's a funny move. My plan is to gamble with another pawn. At him, Rosen, the bits you are playing over and over are from those pitch meetings. Oh, wait, really? Oh, the wow, wow, wow? Guess I didn't realize. B4 is annoying. Maybe I'll play this move. Restricting the knight. Offering the trade. I still want to play this and this. Yeah, so now I'm, now I'm attacking the knight and the pawn. And now I have the... Ooh, it's a pork. It's a pin plus a fork. One of the tastiest tactics. Opponent proceeds to bond cloud even more. Now I could take the queen, but I'm trying to imagine some casting queenside with mate. There's e5, unfortunately. Let's just take. And uh I'll enjoy position. Okay. Uh yeah, I mean after king e7, this this idea immediately came to mind. Um I thought it would only be a fantasy until it became reality. 